My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Fallout 2. Let's go talk to the... Took. Let's go talk to the luxurious woman here in the back. And of course, hope she doesn't mind that we're intruding. Why, hello there, stranger. I'm Mario. That's the only time I'm gonna do her voice. What can you do around... What, sorry, what do you do around here? Who? Me? I do odd jobs here and there. Surely nothing worth talking about. She flutters her eyes at you. I immediately did the voice again. You're right, enough talk, let's get it on. You know you won't it. Um, no. Let's, uh, ask a few more questions. If I weren't so bored, I'd say no, so ask away. Had any good rumors? Have you- Have you come to the right place? This town is so boring! There's nothing else to do but gossip. She keeps talking for a while, and sometime later you're allowed to get a word in. You mentioned something about Rose? What's this about a mutated Brahmin? Let's start with Rose. You mentioned something about Rose? Ah, Rose, the proprietor of Rose's Bed and Breakfast. Now, you didn't hear it from me, but have you ever wondered why her coop is so well protected? She says it's to protect her chickens from the predators, but if you look closely, it looks as though she's trying to keep something in rather than out. Plus, who ever heard of chickens laying 12 pound eggs? Ah, interesting. She must have some sort of a gecko in there, I'd have to assume. Tell me more rumors. What's this about a mutated Brahmin? It's really strange, but I hear the ra ranchers say that every once in a while, a Brahmin will give birth to a calf with only one head. Talk about weird. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fucked up. That's really weird. And I would not eat the beef from that, uh, that Brahmin. Tell me more rumors. Tell me about Davin. He's family, I don't spread rumors about my own family. Ooh. Let's talk about something else. What can you tell me about the slaughterhouse? Nothing to tell, my family runs the slaughterhouse. People from all around bring their Brahmin here for slaughter. After they're slaughtered and their meat treated, it's sold to slavers who in turn sell it to merchants in various towns. All very boring if you ask me. Can I ask you a few more questions? What do you do around here? You're right, enough talk. Let's get it on. Let's love, baby. Want what? Just what are you implying? <laughs> oh god, that's that's a little much. I think you know what I'm talking about, baby. You know this is what you want. You smile and start to undress. Well, that's... I'm playing a combat game? Sorry, what? Where, where did this come in? I'm sorry I didn't mean to imply anything. Well, I have to. You lost 50 karma. I'm gonna get shot. The hell is going on here? Sir, I was just... You keep your damn hands off of her. Well, I have made mistakes. I didn't assume it would give me that as an option. Okay, uh, let's just ask, what do you do around here? Ask you a few more questions, have you heard rumors? And then I'll ask for all of the rumors again. Just to make absolutely certain that I have all of the information she can give. Before I go talk to, I assume this is Davin, a handsome young man. Ah, my name's Davin. I help my father run the slaughterhouse here in Murloc. What do you do at the slaughterhouse? Well, uh, I mean, uh, I supervise and take care of stuff. I'm the oldest son, after all. I'm gonna inherit this place when my dad kicks off. I'll ask you a few more questions. I heard rumors about you and the Brahmin. It's a lie. I only go to the barn at night to make sure everything's locked up. You know, with all the wild animals around and all. Can I ask you a few more questions? Tell me about your dad. Dad runs the slaughterhouse. He's okay as far as fathers go. Word of advice if you do any business with him. There's usually more to his business deals than he leads on. Can I ask you a few more questions? I have to go. Bye. Come back and see me if you uh, want to talk again. Goodbye. Okay, you have nothing I assume I want to steal. So I have now spoken to everyone short of- That is, I believe, actually a woman in here, is it not? I assume the wife of the fellow? No, not at all. Okay, never mind. I've spoken to everyone. See, the drought hasn't affected your stuff. No, that's all an option I've had before. Now it's time to go to a different part of town. Ooh, you see a traitor. The town is dying. 
this used to be a prosperous farming town. I'm, I'm talking to him and he's just not trading with me. I think I might know what your problem is, trader. You don't actually trade with people. It's almost in the job description. It's definitely in the job title. You see an average person of average height, of average complexion. Nothing out of the ordinary. What an average folk. Sorry, this trading post is closed indefinitely due to the drought. So who says I'm here to trade? What? Oh, you must be new around here. Welcome to Modoc. My name's Joe and I run the trading post here in Modoc. I'm on a quest. I seek the holy geck. Do you know where I might find it? Well, you're in luck. I just happen to know where it is off. Really? I guess we have some business to discuss after all. Business, just tell me where I can find the Holy Gek. The only business is... Is that you will tell me where the Holy Gek is where... Before something bad happens. What do you want for this information? Ah yes, what I want. If you hadn't noticed yet, our little farming community is experiencing one of the worst droughts ever. The rainy season was unusually short this year, and our crops are dead and dying of lack of water. To put it bluntly, our community is on the verge of withering away with our crops. Um, you do know I can't make it rain, right? He chuckles softly. No, no, of course not. I wouldn't ask you to do something as impossible as that. You really can't make it rain, can you? No, of course you can't. Anyway, like I was saying, we're in trouble and we could use your help. Okay, I'm listening. There's this farm at the outskirts of town where no farm should be. Some years ago, it just appeared out of nowhere. So you're saying this farm just sprung up overnight? Yeah, right. A group of us were out hunting when we noticed the new farm, but that wasn't the strange thing. Soon after, some of us got together to meet our new neighbor, only to discover there was nobody there. After many months of trying to contact the owners with no success, it was decided that the farm must have been abandoned soon after it was built. So instead of letting the crops rot in the field, young Carl moved up. That's when it got bad. Carl started to tell stories of seeing gr strange glowing figures tending the crops and feeding the animals at night. We all laughed at him, thinking he was making up stories. Then one day, Carl stopped coming into town. What happened to him, and did you look for him? Well, of course we did. We went up there as soon as we suspected something was wrong. He starts to tremble violently. The horror. Bodies strewn everywhere, some crucified, while others were left to rot out in the sun. I still wake up screaming in the middle of the night from the horrible images I saw that day. So let me guess, you want me to go to the farm and find out what happened. Normally, i just leave the cursed place be, but for some reason, the crops at this farm are still flourishing despite the drought. If we... we'll starve if we don't get food soon. Will you help us rid the farm of these ghosts? What do I get out of this? In return for helping us, I'll tell you where you can find what you seek. Okay, then seal the deal, cut off your right pinky finger, then it's a deal. Show me where the ghost farm is. The farm is about a day's travel north of here, northeast of here. Sorry, he pulls out a map and shows you, come back when he found something. I assume he'd get annoyed, like, considering this is a general store. I'm pretty sure he's gonna get a little pissy with me if I try and rob the place. Let's go in here. This is the slaughtering area, right? No, this seems to be some sort of a church. Hang on, that emblem is for the Followers of the Apocalypse, is it not? I like the Followers of the Apocalypse, they're real stand-up folk. Although, it was my understanding that they weren't particularly religious, or that they were actually particularly not religious. Tannery? Nice. Let's talk to a heavy-set man wearing a leather apron. Hello, my name's Balthus. I run the tannery here in Modoc. How can I help you? I'm searching for an item called a Gek. You wouldn't have a chance to know anything about it or how I may obtain one. I have some questions for you because you don't know anything about that. You seem a bit preoccupied. Is there something wrong? Huh? I don't have to discuss my personal life with strangers. Do you have any business with me or not? Pardon me, my name is Rhapsody. Now that we're properly introduced, you seem troubled. Did you say Rhapsody? Yeah, I've heard of you. One of the guards on a passing caravan mentioned some good things about a person with that name. I know we've just met, but I could really use your help. Well, why don't you tell me what your problem is and maybe I'll be able to help. He picks up a metal chisel and starts to wring it anxiously. To your amazement, the chisel begins to bend like putty. This guy is strong. My boy, Johnny, he's gone missing. He went out to play with a few days ago and never came back. We searched everywhere and still haven't found him. This guy is suddenly becoming Johnny Bravo. Where does Johnny normally play? Does he normally play with someone else? Does that mean you'll help me? Thank you. Thank you very much. Johnny was last seen playing cowboys and Indians with his dog Laddie out front. The two of them are inseparable, in fact, that's 
how we knew something was wrong one day. Laddie came back with, uh, without Johnny. We've been searching ever since. Take Laddie with you. Maybe the two of you will be able to find Johnny. Okay. Any more information? No, nothing yet. Okay, fine. I'm gonna have to take Laddie. Right, Laddie. Cool. Now I'm gonna inspect the shit out of this dog, because he might know something. Yo! Woof, woof. Let's go find Johnny. Oh, he keeps running to the well. Oh, Johnny fell down the well. Laddie, Lassie, it's what this is 100% a homage to Lassie. That does nothing. No, no, no. I tie this to the well. What? Oh, okay. Now I have to tie it to the well after I've unburdened the well. Okay, there's my rope used. I'll take out a gun just in case. Okay. Oh dear. You see? You see a coin bag. There's a lot of coins down here. I imagine I might lose karma for picking up the bags of coins. In fact, I'm going to save before I pick a single one up because I do like having kind of perfect karma here. Let's try and find the kid first, actually. Okay. Or at least find his skeleton slash corpse. Probably hasn't been dead long enough to be a skeleton yet. What? I... I'm not seeing any recent bones or anything down here. Huh. Okay, let's take the coin bag. This is my dream. What? Yeah, I lost... I lost karma for picking that up. Yeah, I'm losing karma every single coin bag I pick up. But yeah, I just heard this is my- Oh, there he is. He's in the corner. No, wait, what? Let's go find Johnny. I thought that was the- I thought that was Johnny, but it's the dog. Okay. Well, first off, I'm going to reload because I'm not going to take any of these coin bags if they are going to cost me karma. Do I have a flare? I think I might need a flare right now. What? I can't just... I don't want to flo- I don't want to throw it. Okay. I've turned on the targeting system and I can't actually see anything down here except for the things that came down here with me. Where is this dude? Okay, I can see water. It's nothing out of the ordinary. But surely if there's a source of water down here, that would be where the kid is. Near the water. Hang on. It's my dream, my wish, I'm taking it back. Okay, that must be a reference to something that I don't know. My dream, my wish, I'm taking it back. Blah, 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 blah. I just picked up another coin bag only so that I could see the stuff. What you be needing? The dialogue that was above his head. Look at the bones. A very large pile of bleached bones. You cannot determine the species. He's not down the well? Oh! Johnny's BB gun. Oh no. At least you think the bones are animal. Oh dude, this looks like a dead Johnny. Alright, there's bones there. It's a cave in of rocks. Found his BB gun at least. Oh, hang on. That looks like a trap. That looks like a trap block right there. But it's evidently not because I can't select it. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back up and give this to the father and sadly tell him that his son has died. See a townsperson? I've been to ghost farms. Scary. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go up here. Any luck finding Johnny? I found this at the bottom of the old dry well. A part of the well has fallen in and this was in the debris. I'm sorry, but I believe Johnny is dead. Oh, sorry. Any, any luck finding Johnny? That's Johnny's baby got a right. No! Balthus breaks down and starts to cry uncontrollably and... 
Please leave me to my grief. Please leave me to my grief. Uh, I understand. I'm sorry to disturb you. What? I didn't even get any of that. Oh, do I get to keep the gun? No, he took the gun back as well. Oh, come on. I didn't get anything for that entire quest. Do I get to keep the dog? Oh, bloody. Uh, I've got bad news. I'm pretty sure John is dead. Why am I doing fucking the voice again? I've made a mistake. Laddie! Woof, woof, woof. Okay, I'm gonna assume that I can't take it. Trash can. You know, I should have inspected the gun. Fuck it. I might have been wrong. Hang on. I might have been wrong. So there are bones there, but they're skeletons. Like, is it, it can't be that Johnny's already a skeleton. After this short period of time. Red Rider BB gun with Johnny scratched on the back. It's got very low ammo. Sorry, very low damage. I'll unload it and take the BBs because I'm that much of a douchebag. But yeah, now I should go back up and give this to the guy. There has to be a continuation of this quest. I have to assume, like, after he finishes grieving, he says, Look, I need you to go take revenge on the well. Can you beat the shit out of the well for me, please? Okay. Let's go in here. You see Balthus's wife. Ooh, that's probably a good idea to talk to her. Please find... I have some bad news. You don't mind if I rob from you, do you? You don't have anything to steal. Could you please increase your lot in life so you have something worth stealing that I can then steal from you, please? I don't probably need rocks. So rocks and BBs, I have to assume this is therefore Johnny's room. I'm Johnny now. Get in the bed. Let's sleep. I can't get myself to get in the bed. There's no get in the bed command. Oh, okay. There's another ice chest in here. So now that I've closed that door, I should be able to check it freely. I love that I'm not losing karma for stealing. Because in the later fallouts, in the first person perspective fallouts, you lose karma for stealing. Even when no one can see you steal. Now, I understand that karma makes sense. Like, it's not like your alignment with a faction, it's just you're a shitty person because you stole people's stuff. But the game has such a huge emphasis on reappropriation of, let's say, miscellaneous items from one owner to another. It's- so many quests are hinging entirely on being able to steal stuff, right? A lot of them with no alternate way to even finish the quest. Blood with bones. I wouldn't be surprised if Johnny died in here. Like he was killed by the slaughterhouse. And they tried to cover it up by putting his thing down the bottom. Because there's no, there's no corpse. And he's not a skeleton yet, right? You don't contact someone and say, hey, can you look for my son? He's been missing for long enough that he could be dead and skeletonized by now. That doesn't make sense to me. Oh. Hello, laddie. Whoa, another dog. Cannot get there. All right, let's go get there. Let's go talk to this dog. Dog. What up, dog? I can't talk to the dog. What you be need? No, that's not a dog. That's Sulik. Should I leave the gate open and allow this dog to run away? Hmm. Okay, let's close the gate for now. Okay, what have we got up here? Townsperson, townsperson, did you hear? They blah, blah, blah. 
those go by way too quickly. Okay, a trader. Let's trade. Okay, another trader who is entirely uninterested in actually performing his fucking job. Regular domesticated Brahmin, regular domesticated Brahmin, regular domesticated Brahmin, regular domesticated Brahmin, and another surprise, surprise, regular domesticated Brahmin, that's right. Oh look, there's a kid in here. See, a scruffy little lad hard at work for the Brahmin. Why don't you talk to someone else? Okay. Why don't I steal from you while you're not looking? Hmm? Okay, there's nothing to steal. I tried. I tried to be a little shit stirrer and steal all of his- Ooh, Rose's bed A breakfast. Oh, sorry, that's an ampersand, not an A. Welcome to Rose's bre uh, bed and breakfast. My, aren't you a strapping young man? What can Rose help you with today? You must hear things working here. Mind if I ask you a few questions? I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm quite busy serving customers. Who? There's no one here. Maybe if you ordered something, I'd have time to... Oh, okay. In that case, I'm starving. What do you have to eat? Water for a thousand? Um, look. I'm going to take shepherd's stew. It's relatively cheap. She quickly disappears behind the counter and returns with your order. Can I ask you a few questions? Have you ever heard of a gek? Did you say gek? No, I can't say that I have. I heard there's a good soup recipe that requires three geckos, but no, I haven't heard about anything called a gek. Can I ask you a few more questions? In that case, I'm starving. God damn it, I have to pay her for information. Okay, do you know anything about the ghost farm? She shivers involuntarily. Stay away from there. I've heard tales about the travelers and rotting, rotting bodies tied to stakes and glowing shapes moving through the fields at night. I don't know how much of this is true, but I do know a while back Carl moved out there and hasn't been seen since. One moment, I'm still hungry. Shepherd stew, please. Can I ask you a few questions? What's a Canis burger made it of? Our burgers are made out of nothing but the choicest select grade A dog. The meat is ground up and put into half pound patties. That's what gives it a unique smoky flavor. And they are slow grilled over dried Brahmin dung. Oh dear. Well, I'm not gonna have a Canis burger then. No, thank you. I'm suddenly not hungry at all, ever. Okay, there's an old man way up here in the back. I want to talk to the old man. Oldman. No, 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 no. Gary Oldman. There we go. Oh, <laughs> so witty. It's just, I don't want to incur the wrath of anyone who's going to get really annoyed that I'm going to explore this entire place. Oh, there's a locker in here. Everything in it is now mine. Well, I have now looted everything from the locker. Everything that was capable of being looted from that locker, I have taken. Sulik is running intimidation extortion tactics up here. Oh, you see a traitor. Get out. Okay, not a problem, traitor. He's blocking my ability to get to the locker anyway. Okay, no one in this room. Now, time for me to rob. Okay, nothing to rob. I'm very sad about that. Go talk to the old man. Hey, Gary. Welcome to Rose's Bed and Breakfast. My name is Rose. I mean Cornelius. And I run this bed and breakfast. Can I help you? S excuse me? If you run the place, then how come it's called Rose's Bed and Breakfast? Rose is my wife. I named the place after her. Did you know I'm married? I assumed as much when you said wife. Can I ask you some more questions? Questions? Was I asking you something? Hi, my name's called- Oh... Yeah, this guy's a little... Little adult. You need some serious help, old man. You'll help me. That's great. Go beat up Farrell and get my watch back. He probably hid it good, so tear his house apart looking for it. Kill Farrell, get watch back. Got it. I'll be right back. What are you talking about? A while back, I forget when, my best friend of 30, or was it 40 years? Oh, it doesn't matter. What matters is he stole my precious gold pocket watch. It's been handed down in my family for five, no, six, no, four generations. Yes, I distinctly remember setting it down on my desk. Then when I looked on the kitchen table, it was gone. Well, your desk isn't your kitchen. I'm going to pick it up off his desk and give it to him, aren't I? Did you try looking for it on your desk? Yes, yes, yes. I've looked in my sock drawer. It's not there either. Okay, but look out for your watch while I'm in town. I have a watch. It was gold watch. I wonder where I put it. 
Let's give him his watch. It's here on the desk. Oh, no! Yeah! Now that's weird. It's actually not on the desk. I'm incredibly surprised. They have two separate beds. This marriage is falling apart. Actually, apparently having two separate beds is really, really healthy. So that's cool. I'm interested in getting a room. Uh, what do you do here? I run this motel. Yep, the place would fall apart if it wasn't for me. Have you been to the outhouse? Cleanest outhouse you've ever been to. That's my doing. What does having a clean outhouse have to do with running this place? I was sitting on the toilet one day and a big dog climbed out of the sewer. It scared me off to death. Hmm. Certain words seem to set him off. Rose, room, running. Don't go into ghost farm unless you're tired of living. Laddie is a smart dog. I talk to him all the time. Miria is a nice girl. We used to play doctor when she was... Laddie's a smart dog. Farrell's my best friend in the world. I hear Grisham is trying to marry off his kids. I wonder if Rose wouldn't mind if I got another wife. Laddie's a smart dog. Uh, have you tried Rose's omelets? I was sitting on the toilet. Yes, I saw Johnny playing by the well with his dog Laddie. What a nice kid. Okay, so there's a few hints about different things in here. Trying to marry off the daughters might be something interesting as well. Davin is a nice kid. I wonder why he doesn't look like his father. <laughs> Well, I've just learned something about the ancestry of Davin. Grisham is a nice fellow. He sells us scraps to feed giant chicken. The giant chicken. He has a giant chicken. Interesting. Stay away from the chicken, chicken coop. I almost lost an arm feeding that thing. Farrell's my best friend in the whole world. Any more information? This is a lot of stuff that I found. Okay. Can I ask you any other questions? Who's Rose? Rose is my wife. I thought you just said Rose is your wife. Wait, what? Rose is my wife. She runs the kitchen. You won't find a better meal anywhere else. Rose, she's so beautiful. I'm going to marry her someday. I thought she was your wife. Davin's a nice kid. Okay, so I found the certain words that set him off. I'm interested in getting a room. I have a room. I sleep over there. Where do you sleep? I don't think you understand. I'd like to rent a room for the night. Have you tried Rose's omelets? They're delicious. Okay. Yeah, he's... He might actually be in a severe state of dementia. I've thankfully never had to interact with dementia, so I wouldn't know if this is an accurate representation or not. So, he told me that he was sitting on the outhouse, so it's possible that his golden watch is in the outhouse. Let's talk to Rose about his her husband. Just in case she won't talk. Uh, da, da, uh. What can you tell me about Cornelius' missing watch? Oh dear, have you been talking with my husband Cornelius? The whole business with the watch is just terrible. Cornelius got the whole town believing that his best friend Farrell took the watch. If you talk to him, I'm sure you'd notice his mind isn't quite functioning properly. I'm pretty sure the poor dear just left his watch somewhere and forgotten where. Okay. No thank you. I'm not interested. I'm pretty certain, pretty damn certain that the outhouse is going to be where it is. Because that's the only other location he mentioned. He mentioned desk, he mentioned kitchen table, and he also mentioned the outhouse. He was sitting here and something near scared him to death. Yeah, I can interact with the outhouse. It's possible that... Oh dear. There's an overwhelming smell of methane gas down here. One tiny spark would blow it sky high. Oh. Oh, a mole rat all the way up here. Interesting. We're going to have to use melee weaponry. That's my kind of like immediate assumption. One tiny spark would blow the entire place up. Obviously. Ooh. An explosive charge should clear this passage. Huh. I'm gonna need explosives. So I'm gonna need explosives to clear that quest. Where can I find explosives? They seem relatively rare from my experience with them so far. You see an old man? He makes a he makes a prune look fresh. I love it. I didn't steal that watch, so stop coming over here and harassing all 
poor old Farrell. Cornelius says you stole his watch. Not again! How many people do I have to tell? Cornelius is probably gonna send over. I didn't do it. I was probably the victim of the same thief. Around the time his watch disappeared, some of my tools were stolen. If you don't believe me, so might as well go have a look. Okay, never mind. A lot of people are missing things. Hey, maybe Johnny's down? Uh, probably not. Now what? What can you tell me about Modoc? Modoc is a small community. Shit, can I barter with you? Let's let's try and see if he has any explosives. He sell a shotgun? He will sell a shotgun, but it'll take me a lot of money to get. How? No one's going to pay well for the BBs, unfortunately. Okay, what do you do around here? I mostly putter around in the garden trying to make the damn plants grow without water. I can't do that because something big has moved in and I can't seem to get rid of it. Something big has moved in. I can help you. I'd be happy to help. There we go. That would be wonderful. I can't thank you enough. My garden's a little ways east of here. Come with me, I'll show you. Oh. It's just a lot of rats. None of them are big. What is this guy arguing about? Fucking big rats? None of these are big. Alright. Let's pop them. One rat down. Gosh. Um... And combat. Excellent. Now I can just move closer and actually get myself in a position to fight them. I don't care if they come at me because... Boom. We'll just put them down instantly. I want them to run at me. I dare them. I double dare them, motherfucker. Run at me one more goddamn time. Okay. Got a 61 on this. I wouldn't have been surprised to miss there, to be completely honest with you. And turn. Okay, now I can end combat. Nothing else is aggroing on me. Let's go in here. Okay, one rat at my feet. Take it out. And turn. Ooh, I might actually need the help of... Uh... Oh, shit. Rat was hit for nine hit points and didn't die. I've actually been struck and poisoned! Wowzers! I was definitely not expecting there to actually be some serious possible risk involved in this. Die. Die, rat. Oh my god, I just hit Sulik for 20 points instead of the rat at all. Okay, thank you for not killing the rat. What the fuck? This rat has a lot of health. How much health does this rat have? Okay, a tough mutant rat. It has one health left. Now it has no health left. Okay, I'll end the combat so that I can go out of combat and quickly use my antidote. Excellent. Reducing my poison level. It's probably a better idea to use a healing powder or two right now. I might miss a few more shots, but it's not going to be critical as in terms of whether or not I die as a result of missing those shots. Shoot him in the head! Put him down! Put your dukes down! Excellent. So that's 75 cleared up there. One more rat that I can see down here. Ah, oh, poisoned again. Shit. Cool, cool. And turn, and then there's another rat here. Aim for the body just so I can try and guarantee a hit. Cool. Cannot end turn with hostile creatures nearby. Holy shit! It got back up! I thought I'd killed it! It was on the floor. 
Looks like I killed them all. Cool. I got 300 experience for cleaning out his garden. And I also got all the experience for the kills. I can't assume there's going to be anything here that I actually want to take. A spear on the floor? No, that's a rake. Okay. Hey, it even rhymed. Let's go back and tell him, yo, we cleared out all the shit. I wonder if the reward for this is possibly dynamite. That'd help tie this up in a little bunch. I cleaned out the vermin from your garden. Thank you, you're a true hero among heroes. Not many people would risk their lives for a total stranger. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You get this warm, fuzzy feeling all the way down to your toes. Can I ask you a few more questions? What can you tell me about Modoc? Can I ask you a few more questions? You mentioned something about a watch earlier. I'll be around for a while. Everyone's accusing me of stealing it. I was hoping to find it so we could be friends. It's fine. I'll be around for a while if I come across it. I'll tell everyone. Cool, never mind. And you feel better. You lost current you lost eight current poison level. Oh cool. So I was cured of my poison somehow. What? How do I leave? Oh, I was shut in here for some reason. It's weird. Okay, well, it's about time to end the episode. In fact, it's like 10 minutes past where I wanted to end the episode. But, you know, I was having fun. My name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Fallout 2. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on Fallout 1 and 2, past, present, and future. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.